When will you marry me? Miss Dimitra, marry me. Be my wife. Marry me. Marry me. Introducing the Kohler Carbon Faucet. So this is a toilet made out of poop. And I made it to show kind of um, in a conceptual way what it means for uh, waste to be turned into a commodity. People are sort of surprised often when they find out that it's made of poop because it has such a pleasant kind of um, softness to it as a material. It's really quite nice actually. You've done it all. You've broken every code. I'm Virginia Gardner. I'm an industrial designer and a writer living in London. To the floor. And I'm working on a project developing a new waterless toilet system at Design London Imperial College. In America, we have a flush and forget mentality. We love to flush the toilet, and we love to eliminate the contents of the toilet from our memory and our experience completely, as quickly as possible, using one to three gallons of water every time we do it. But I think that we've lost sight of something very important, and I think most Americans would be really surprised, actually, to learn that there's 2.6 billion people globally, which is 40% of the global population, that does not have a toilet of any kind. As a design student, one of the things you're always looking for is problem-solving briefs, problems that you wish to address. Flushing drinking water down the toilet is a problem. So I developed a brief for myself to um, create a waterless toilet for the city that uses no energy and turns human waste into a commodity. I began with trying to build a compact composting toilet and the best way to compost things quickly is to do it with worms. I got a box of special composting worms and set up a wormery where I put feces on a regular basis to see how the worms would do turning it into soil. You would not believe how much a poop transformed in the span of a few days. It was made invisible. It was as if it had never been there. I think that in that period of experimentation, I began to really appreciate the flush toilet in some senses. So I was looking for carbon-rich, biodegradable materials that you can use to package human waste and that would increase methane production. And one of them is manure. Um, and so I started looking at ways of molding manure. Um, this is an icosahedron made out of horse poo from the horses that trot around Buckingham Palace. So as I was experimenting with the horse poo, I began to develop a toilet which packages the waste and we found this simple biodegradable film which is made from starch. Because it's a carbon rich material, we actually ended up with double the methane coming out of the system. Now of course methane is a greenhouse gas, but if you build an anaerobic digester, then what you do is you harvest the, the methane and in the process of combustion it turns back into carbon dioxide and H2O. This is a functional model. This is the portable demo. We've been calling it the Luat because Lu, of course, means toilet and Watt means electricity. And it demonstrates how this very low cost, low tech, no energy except for human power um, sealing system contains the odor uh, and stops it from escaping because one of the things I realized when I was experimenting with the worms is that you actually really do want some of those benefits of flush toilets. You don't want to smell the waste and you don't really want to be overly aware that it's there. We've got some artificial poop that we put in and then um, you operate this crank and it carries the waste down into the lower cartridge and um, it seals out any odor and makes it impossible for um, those kinds of smells to escape. Um, and it's also good because it reduces the amount of oxygen in the system, which is perfect for delivery to the anaerobic digester. 
Sustainability is not about objects, it's about systems. So I'm going to show you the system. The Luat system. You take your toilet, you empty it with a cartridge which you wheel to a biodigester which produces gas. You take the gas and you cook dinner with it. You eat dinner and you're really happy because you ate and then you go poo. And you're ready to start again. I guess I've never been a person who's self-conscious about bodily functions or issues surrounding them. Um, to the contrary, I've always been somebody who is very happy to discuss them. So, in some senses, the toilet is something that I never understood why it was so taboo. Our daily contribution to this planet, which comes from our bodies, is two pounds of excrement. Well, it's a combination of number one and number two. Two pounds of it every single day of your life. Shouldn't that be put into a system where we can use it again in the most beneficial possible way?